Did Obi-Wan forsake the Jedi ways by leaving Anakin to burn on that bank? Let's discuss. Traveling sublight is a bit dicey these days. Welcome back to Star Wars Sublight, the channel where we take the foot off the gas and like to explore the finer details of a galaxy far, far away. Today we're taking a look at a brand new spin-off, CSI Mustafar. <laughs> Rewatching the Disney Plus Obi-Wan Kenobi series has me thinking about the first time Obi-Wan and Vader threw down, and in particular, the way it ended. There's something about the way Obi-Wan leaves Anakin on that bank that is uncharacteristically cruel. After delimbing Anakin Skywalker, it would have been all too easy for Obi-Wan to have finished the job then and there, sparing the galaxy a whole lot of grief. So what gives? What prevented Obi-Wan from following through? Strike one, there can be no mercy. In Matthew Stover's novelization of Revenge of the Sith, Obi-Wan considers killing Anakin in this moment to be a mercy. Stover also reveals that Obi-Wan wasn't feeling particularly merciful in this moment. You were the chosen one! And, uh, hey, who can blame him? Obi-Wan just saw a recording of his old apprentice slicing up a room full of children. In between you and me, I wouldn't be feeling very lenient either. So then, back to the question, is mercy part of the Jedi Code? I would argue that ending the pain of a being swiftly would be part of the Jedi's teaching, core to who they are. Jedi don't exactly go out looking for conflict, but when they find it, they like to end it quickly. So, yeah, I do think Obi-Wan bent the rules a little bit when he didn't put his friend out of his misery. Strike two, a failure to lead by example. There is a fleeting example of what a Jedi should do following a duel in Anakin Skywalker's fight with Count Dooku. While duking it out in front of the Chancellor, Anakin gets the upper hand. As well as the other two. <laughs> when Anakin is presented with an unarmed foe, he hesitates. I shouldn't. Do it. Aww. After pulling a 180 and beheading Count Dooku, Anakin clearly states. I shouldn't have done that, it's not the Jedi way. Put these two examples together and yeah, it doesn't look very good for Obi-Wan in this moment. You know 100% that Obi-Wan Kenobi knows better. But upon seeing the Jedi Order he dedicated his life to going up in flames, he probably decided to throw the Jedi Code on the Skywalker bonfire too. Before hammering the final nail in the Kenobi coffin, consider subscribing to the channel, it helps a lot. Alright, you've been waiting this long, I present to you Strike 3, The Smoking Gun, What Went Down on Geonosis. The Petronaki Arena held a pretty ugly, non-sentient beast called an Akle. When it decides to have a go at him, Obi-Wan reduces it to a pile of stumps before offering it a mercy kill. Are you telling me Obi-Wan can grant this thing a mercy kill, but he can't do it for his <clears throat> brother? <laughs> so there it is, irrefutable proof that Obi-Wan Kenobi went against the Jedi Code when he left Anakin Skywalker to melt on that Mustafar lakeside. Move along. Move along. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoy this stuff consider giving the video a like or subscribing to the channel to see more as it comes out. Either way I'll catch you in the next one, may the force be with you.